Hello, Gemini, and what an extraordinary and complex week this is going to be for you. We're going to get into the astrology, and I'm already shuffling the cards. Gemini, this is your weekly tarot card reading and astrology prediction from Born Without Boundaries to Row. That's me, Michelle. Thank you, and welcome to my tarot table. This is the premiere channel of my two YouTube channels, so please do also explore my second YouTube channel, Astrology Motivation, where you can talk to me live every day of the week because I do a live general tarot card reading there um, and post some other good stuff as well. So I hope that you will find me there. I'll attach the link somewhere above or you can just at Astrology Motivation. While you're here, give this a video a like and subscribe to the channel. I hope that you will consider it. Please remember that this is an energy reading, so it is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign, and you should apply it and the energy that I reveal to you in any area of your life that it most resonates. It is your reading, and there's no date. It comes to you at the time that it's supposed to come to you. Um, even though the, astro the astrology is date specific, but that's just when the energy drops, my friends. It's not necessarily when it reaches you. Um, and I hope you join me for the extended reading. I always create an extended reading so we get deeper dive details. And that link is right down below. And I'll also pin it to the top of the comment section for you guys. Okay, there are cards on the table. But I think we need to get into some of the astrology first. The astrology is, it, it's just, we're coming off such a beautiful, <clears throat> like abundant astrology. A beautiful new moon. But almost right after the new moon, like two days later, um, Mercury and Venus are still conjunct, which is a really wonderful energy, and it will add to your confidence, your likability, and how appealing you are to people. So that's something that's not going to be taken away from you for a week, two weeks. That's going to be yours. Use it, especially during this week when there is an opposition to Mars. Mars is in Gemini. So now your ruling dignitary, Mercury, is in direct opposition to your first house. <laughs> um, <clears throat> how do you use that energy? Well, think about any opposition, almost like the North and South Node. The North and South Node, you could say, are in perpetual opposition to each other, but they're not actually in opposition at all. They are a path. They are a pathway. They are a pathway from where you start to where you begin, so they're actually connected. And all oppositions are actually connected. They are just stretched really thin. In other words, an opposition is what you least understand and what you're least able to connect with. It's difficult for you. It's your blind side. How do you deal with the blind side? Your blind side is going to be blind, a blind side for your entire life or for the entire for in this case, um, for this weekly astrology, for the entire week. So it will pose a blind side to you. What is it? Mars is in Gemini, so it's things that you didn't learn, things that you forgot to learn, things that you skipped over, things that you wish you learned, things that maybe you have to go back and relearn because you didn't learn them the right way. I mean, I could, per I could think that this would be a week where a lot of you guys are gonna be like, oh God, I wish I had taken Spanish. I say that because Mercury is in Sagittarius, and this is a great time for foreign language and foreign learning, and a real time where you'll feel a great excitement about wanting to learn different ideals, different cultures, and different languages. But you'll also, during this opposition, meet up with a lot of interactions or experiences where you wish you'd already done it. <laughs> you, wish you'd, you wish the work is already completed. Or you'd wish you'd taken action on something and you wish you had, you had just had done things, not differently, but already completed things. So there will be a little bit of a blind side there. Now, what do you do during blind sides? You simply can't create what is your blind side. This is when you would have to reach out reach out to friends, reach out to um, connections, reach out to people who are trusted and who can help you out. So it's gonna be very good for you this week to have a group of friends around that you can gather around you for support or ways that they can help you. Just, you know, think, people that are good at things that you're not good at, essentially. Have them around you. Um, we go, I, yeah, I absolutely had to write this down. Um, 
there is a beautiful energy of the trine that is happening between Chiron and the Mercury Venus conjunction, which is helping you learn from your injuries or helping you learn through suffering, helping you learn through stress, which follows into falls into that opposition. It's like now you're going to learn that you should have learned something or you should have done something because of the stress that it causes you. But because there is a trine with Chiron, there is a sense of it's not going to be torturous, it's actually going to be useful. It's actually going to be inspirational and you're actually going to be able to make peace with something so harmonizing and by realizing this is something that I have to work on, this is something that I have to really pay attention to. Um, now when it comes to actual, we'll get into that. Um, toward the end of the week, Jupiter will be, Jupiter, which started out in the beginning of the week, trine <laughs> to Mercury and uh, Venus, it's going to be square. So the square is going to sort of exacerbate, it, to make it more, to make things more challenging because you're going to, you're going to feel by the end of the week, the tension to the maximum. I wish I'd already done it. I wish it had already happened. Stop wishing, just do. The problem with Jupiter is it makes you want to expand really quickly, but you don't have the resources to be able to do that since there is still the opposition in place. So there's a sense of you are going to have to slow your roll by the end of the week, and it's going to be difficult because your energy is going to be like thrusting you forward, but your ability is going to be dragging you back. And this is going to be when you learn the lesson best and start taking notes for how to not let this happen again in the future. Wherever it's playing out in your life, and yes, I would like to know, please leave the comments below. There are cards on the table, let's get into them, and I will continue to sprinkle the astrology throughout this entire reading. So here we are, and here we have the cards, and we have a lot <coughs> unraveling currently, but there's a sprinkle in of something from the past, which the astrology does support. The miracles are endless in the past, um, it's kind of setting you up for, you already have the resources, Gemini. You just may not feel it or you haven't used it. So this is really dealing with um, resources that you haven't put to work for you. Maybe they've grown a little stale. Maybe you get, got rid of them. But there is a sense of you at least already had them. It's not like there's lack of abundance. It's that you're going to have to make do with the resources that you have is what this is saying. And then we have give with gratitude and grace. So Turkey is, is um, yeah, because it's upside down, it's something that you didn't give. It's something that maybe you were a little bit stingy with in the past or didn't put a lot of your time, effort, energy, or resources into it. Maybe, um, yeah, yeah. So that is, that is showing up because it is saying it's having direct impact on where you are now, which is shit comes up, shit comes out. There is something that's coming out of the dark. It's something that's coming up and, and light is being brought to something that you'd forgotten about. When it comes to you, the, the dark isn't necessarily what was intentionally hidden. It's what you forgot about. It's what you left unattended to. <laughs> it's what, it's, it's, your, it's your blind side. And that is what's coming front and center to you. And you're not necessarily going to recognize it or know what to do with it either and so there is the challenge but that's also where you need to co-create with spirit which is have faith so this is really a week where you're being called to trust trust and have faith pray not just in spirit but in those around you friendships are key trust in divine detours with this new information and these new challenges or these new requirements or necessities that come up, you are going to have to change your trajectory or change your strategy. There are changes. Now, these could either, either you could see them either as things that piss you off or because you're listening to this reading, hi, what's up? And you know I'm always on your side. You could see it as, ah, this is one of those things where I know I'm just going to have to roll with the punches and change it here and change it up. And it's basically saying that you can expect to have to make unexpected changes this week. We have watch and wait. So this is Piscean energy. Neptune is a little bit of an irritation. Um... 
this could have to do with health issues. I say this because I know, especially in the States, which is where I am, it is a very, very particular season that we like to call flu season. And yeah, th that could definitely be the fact that, that um, Neptune is square to Mars in Gemini, and I said this to, I said this to Aries too, there's a sense of even though the flu might not have caught up with you yet, it might catch up, catch up with you now. It may be, I don't know if I should say this on the video, it may be COVID or the flu. I, I, I am not a doctor, so I, you know, disclaimer right now, but ultimately it may be something that you have to, if you've avoided it so far, it may come to you now. It is not going to ruin anything what it's going to do is slow you down. It's going to make you, and you're, remember Jupiter's over there pumping you up and making you supercharged to want to get something done. So there's going to be the challenge. There's the square is like not being able to do what you want to do because you have to now address and deal with stuff that was unexpected and unpredictable. So yes, can you say frustrating? It is going to be an extremely frustrating week, but frustration, depending on how you deal with it, can lead to major productivity. So let's get to maybe, just maybe, how are we supposed to deal with it? How are we supposed to deal with this? Mm. Something for, oh, <laughs> I love doing your readings because every frickin' Gemini reading, I laugh. You make me laugh, not at you, with you, just your spirit. So we have act as if in the past. This has got to, the spirit just revealed this, don't get mad at me, get mad at spirit. Spirit just revealed this. You pretended that you were able to do this in the past. You kind of fudge this. Which is why Pisces energy is sitting here saying like, watch and wait, and some level you kinda knew this might come back and get you, and you can't really blame anybody but yourself. Because you did kinda fake it till you make it, or I'm just gonna blend in and let things, you know, pass me by and just kinda blend you. I'm just gonna blend, mm -mm, not me, <laughs> not me, nothing, nothing to see here. That is a choice that you made in the past that was really self-deceptive. Self you know, as much as you may have also deceived others, it was also self-deceptive because you really couldn't do and you didn't put the time in to figure out what you had to do. And this is what is coming now. This is, this is what you are addressing. Something that you thought, or it could be paperwork or administrative stuff or a conversation that you need to have or a class that you needed to take, or a certification that you needed to get, or guess what, your license expires and you kind of knew it was coming because you see the date of expiration, but here it is, something that you didn't get done. And it's going to be, like I said, it's not gonna be life-changing or catastrophic. It's gonna be one of those irritants because honestly, you're gonna be like, oh, how did three months pass that quickly? Because you just sort of like, it, it didn't, it didn't necessarily slip your mind. You were just happy to put it out of your mind because you had other shit to do. And I'm sure that shit was more important, but now, clear out the clutter, you good dude. I don't even, like I can't, clear out the clutter. Now you, got, now you gotta deal with the garbage, right? You gotta deal with the fact that it has built up and you're not gonna be able to move forward unless you do something with what is happening, right? Unless you do something with what is going on, unless you do something with what has built up. Clear out the clutter is frog energy. It's saying that this lesson, whatever you're cleaning up now, is going to teach you how to clean in the future. It's going to teach you how, why it's necessary to clean or keep things clean, clean so they don't build up because this is definitely something that has built up and you've just got to address it. Could also be dealing with family issues, trust in divine detours. You might have to actually go visit a family member, speak to a family member, spend some time with a family member or deal or the stuff that you're dealing with may not be yours. 
it may actually be stuff that has come up because of the family and you now have to deal with it. So this may not necessarily be something that you had direct hand in creating, but you could definitely see that it was coming and you put it off and you put it off and you put it off because, and now it's, it's unavoidable. I think that you couldn't get luckier in having to deal with this at a more, in a better time because you are, there is such still benefic energy connecting with you. This is still, you know, Chiron is still trying to the conjunction, the conjunction between you, between Mercury and Venus. Mercury and Venus are still conjunct, which is a beautiful energy. So people will want to be helpful and you will get the answers you need and you will be able to heal the situation. Uh, so maybe in all cosmic timing, all you really did, Gemini, was put something off to the right time when you actually had the ability to deal with it, the resources, and you do, you have the resources to do it. We have, it's time to release negativity. That's a full moon card. So expect that something will be happening. No, but let's say this, scorpionic energy. Think back, what did you need to release? It's almost like something that you had been afraid of, you are going to be confronting this week. It's something that you have to confront in order to transform, which is what frog is, it's transformative energy. It's facing this fear that may have been chasing you for a while, facing it and getting rid of it. And because you face it down, you can finally move on. Full moon in Scorpio, it's time to release negativity. It's time to let go of this shit, the shit that's been sitting on your chest. Maybe you haven't had a conversation that you need to have because it's just been sitting there and now it's time to get it off. It's time to get through it and let it go. Let's get into some details, guys. We're going to get into the future. Gemini, what is this dealing with? So this is four of cups. It's definitely something that you haven't wanted to consider or maybe somebody that hasn't wanted to consider you. Um, the offer was made. Four of Cups is you were either distracted or disinterested or um, now it's a cup. So it's and it's upright. So it's actually I don't think you realize the value of something. So that's specifically what's coming out is uh, you're starting to realize the value of something. Uh, Seven of Wands is here. Somebody's been trying to get through to you or you've been trying to get through to somebody for quite some time. You have not given up. In fact, I think you are quite weather worn from this experience because you have been fighting for it for so long. This has got to do with something that is very important to you because you have been you have been creating it. So so you let me know in the comments below. Um, maybe people have been ignoring it or ignoring something about you. Maybe the growth of something hasn't been happening quickly. You have been fighting so hard that you are now starting to get a little bit jaded, right? A little bit defensive about the situation because people still aren't paying that attention to you or they're not or they're distracted or people's maybe feelings there's still more fear it's almost like i'll tell you this you're frustrated that you still have to deal with the same old shit it's like i've dealt with this over and over and over again but people keep pushing me people keep asking me people keep asking you the same old question over and over and over again maybe you're going to need to put it in a different context knight of wands is here which is um fire sign masculine aries leo sagittarius and this is sagittarius energy you have to look at things from a broader perspective you maybe are speaking too directly and you have to reach different people you have to talk to more people you have to zoom out and do that sagittarian way and remember we talked about oppositions this is gemini versus sagittarius energy Gemini, you are detail-oriented and precise and one-on-one -on -one and direct that way. You learn through your experiences with individuals. Well, Sagittarius learns through their experience with the globe. They learn through their experience with the world. You, my friends, the secret to your success in the future is global. 
doing something, taking action, learning global or traveling outside of where you normally would travel. That is in part secret to your success in the future. This is also Knight of Wands, which is becoming more worldly, adapting yourself more worldly. I keep saying, speaking a different language, reaching out in a different language, communicating to people that are um, learning about people that are, that are different from you or even different walks of life and different faiths. This also could be specifically a person, which is a fire sign masculine, somebody that has a major fire placement. They're very fiery. They're very active. You could have to take it and put it into their hands. You could have, you are being called right now to trust this person trust this individual let's see how far that trust gets you i am now going to go to the extended and get into more details i hope you come along with me gemini i love you guys i'll see you there